Okay, I repeat, uh, those who joined now, uh, the notes what I sent earlier, please ignore that. Refer the one what I sent now at 11.29, consumer beer unit three. As I see a slight change in the syllabus of 18 syllabus. Okay, so it's a new handout what you can see. So you can prefer this. Okay, shall we start students? Maybe others would join late, I feel. Okay, total there are 22 members. Fine, yeah, we can start this, okay. Okay, uh, we completed unit one and unit two. Uh, today we'll be starting with unit three. Okay, uh, unit three is all. Unit three is a quite a lengthy unit. Uh, it's somewhere the. It has been divided into three. The portions have been divided into three. Individual influences on consumer wear. CRM part one will be studying in unit one. Unit three. CRM part two will be studying it in unit two. A uh, unit four. Okay, again, I repeat, CRM part one will be studying in unit three and CRM part two will be studying it in unit four. Okay, so unit three has been divided into three. One is sub main headings, one is motivation, then personality and perception. Motivation, personality, perception. Our students, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Okay, fine, fine. Now, uh, when I'm speaking about this motivation, personality and perception, okay. So here we see it has been divided under uh, three, okay. Now I just wanted to know from your end, uh, in this uh, uh, motivation, personality and perception, uh, do you want to take some topics for the presentation? Yes or no? Uh, please let me know because in the beginning itself, we'll end this presentation as well students online. Just let me know those who want to do the presentation before I give you the topic. Do you want to pick some uh, topics for the presentation from this as the syllabus is in front of you in the handout? Just check, uh, take two minutes of your time. Just check, is there anyone who wants to take the topic for presentation? Not the entire unit I'm telling. Some units if you want to take for the presentation, you can do that. As a group also you can do. As an individual also you can do. You take a call, just let me know. Okay, anyone wants to take some topic for the presentation? Okay, not a problem. Uh, no one is taking the initiative to speak. Sir, it's Miss Neil. I'll take marketing strategies. Marketing strategies. Okay. okay. You want to do it alone, is it? Marketing strategies? Sir, alone only. Okay. Uh, theories and marketing strategies. Okay, fine. Yeah, I can do that. Then anyone else? Okay. Can you please increase the volume? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Sorry. Mm. Okay. Uh, Steven, now is it audible? Hello? Hello? 
need for hierarchy theory vinit okay fine yeah vinit you can do that need for hierarchy theory yeah just uh, if you can't speak students just go on typing over here what all topics you want to take snehal you can just uh, write your topic over there uh, so it will be easy and recorded as well okay uh, snehal will be doing marketing strategy okay steven now is it audible hello steven yes sir Then others, any other topics you want to take? No worries. If you can't do this unit, then we'll go to the next unit, and there you can do the presentation. But those who wish to do it now itself, you can finish your presentation. Okay. Fine, students. I'll run through the syllabus first, then we'll start this unit. Okay. Uh, unit three has been divided into three. One is motivation, personality, and perception. Okay. Very interesting unit again. Uh, quite a lengthy unit. Okay. To be very upfront with you, very honest. Uh, quite a lengthy unit. so motivation basis for motivation here we'll be studying basis for motivation what is motivation will be understanding then what are needs goals positive and negative motivation will be understanding what is rational versus emotional motivation then motivation process then arousals of motives then selection of goal motivation theories are there uh, feldrin theory neo feldrin theory there are many theories we'll be going through okay then uh, maslow's hierarchy theory the one what you studied in uh, uh, what we say uh, mov subject i suppose if i'm not wrong please correct me uh, you wish uh, you might have studied that but in the point of view of consumer how how it happens will be understood that then need for then magrew's uh, psychological motives will be understanding one more theory by magrew that will be understanding then coming to personality then here basis for personality then theories of personality yes there are theories will be going through the theories of uh, personality and marketing strategies then feldrin theory neo just i told you feldrin theory neo feldrin theory and trade theory so those things will be understanding then an explication of personality concepts in marketing then personality and understanding consumer diversity then brand personality self and self image very important for the exam again so those things will be understanding then uh, perception basis of perception and marketing implications then elements of perception dynamics of perception influence of perception on cb consumer behavior then consumer imagery perceived price then uh, perceived quality perceived quantity a quality relationship then what are different types of perceived risk uh, very important for the exam again so those things there are different types of risk important for the exam point of view those things will be understanding then how to Uh, how consumer handle risk so all these things will be understanding in uh, consumer behavior uh, uh, unit 3 okay so motivation uh, again i repeat this unit 3 has been divided into three motivation personality and perce perception okay so that's all about the syllabus students of unit 3 so let's start this uh, okay. unit okay still people are joining okay fine uh basis for motivation let's start this basis for motivation okay uh students maybe in the mid of this unit uh, will be i'll be taking you through the case of harley davidson i am uh, 90% done with uh, understanding the, the case of harley and uh, what do we say apple 12 uh, those things i've gone through apple 12 yeah, i had gone through it but harley somewhere i was stuck in the between last week it was just 70% i covered uh maybe a week or so then i'll be sharing the case with you and we'll discuss i want the reviews from you as well i have jotted down some answers uh, solutions for this uh, then i want the reviews from you guys what the why what was the reason why hardly went out so once i share the case then we'll discuss about it you please remind me once in the next class okay so that i'll be sharing it uh, quickly i'm almost done with drafting the case so i'll be sharing it quick okay and please uh, if if you want some case to be discussed uh, just message me whenever you are free and we'll discuss the other day you you given some cases those things are into my list and uh, i'll be doing that okay soon we'll be doing that okay okay fine coming to the uh, uh, portion syllabus uh, portion motivation basics of motivation people are motivated by many things some positive others not okay some some motivating factors can move people only to a short time like hunger which will last time last only until you are fed others can drive others can drive a person onwards for years motivation is a driving force within which individuals can impel 
them to action motivation is the activation of energization of the goal oriented behavior motivation may be essential and not the term is generally used for the human but theoretically it can be used to describe the causes of the animal behavior as well so what is motivation something which drives your attention which triggers you to do something we call it as motivation in short students okay when i say this motivation is a driving force within every individual okay it impels you to do something okay now say for example uh, you got a fest in college okay uh, something motivates you to wake up early get ready and come to the college because you are going to host the show and it is something motivating okay it triggers you it pushes you and it makes you uh, uh, aware about what you are supposed to do so that's what we called as motivation okay now people uh, motivation is a driving force within individual that impels them to action means something motivates you only then you do it okay if it's not motivating then you'll never do any work now say for example if i get a double one double zero your nokia cell phone and give it to you give it to you as a gift okay it will not motivate you the reason is it's all about the 4g and 5g oh my god kavita okay now kavita is it fine hello sorry hello kavita hello okay okay fine fine okay sorry about that okay now uh, if i i was uh, talking about an example of uh, 1100 or as take an example of uh, me getting a, a scooter for you and uh, giving it to you as a gift okay so that will not motivate you the reason is you are the youngsters and you want something which is of speed which is of new technology like 4g or 5g connection only then you'll accept it the reason is uh, it should motivate it motivate you to do something okay it should uh, impel you to do something it did, it should impel you to take some action it should trigger you in in short it should trigger you to do some action so that's what we call it as motivation okay now if you if you relate this uh, with the help of marketing and advertisement okay when when a customer looks at the advertisement that motivates him to buy the product okay why advertisements are done in the market just to motivate the people to buy the product in the nicosia model we understood about this uh, motivation now we are understanding it, we are understanding it the entire model itself a part of it okay what is this motivation all about now when you look at this advertisements it will motivate you to buy the products okay now uh, say for example uh, can anyone uh, give me some example of the advertisement which you remember and which motivated you to buy the products be honest any any examples you remember wherein uh, it motivated you to buy the product can you it can be any product students no not an issue neem vegetable wash yeah okay that motivated you to buy the product because it it gave a message that your product is safe so that's a good example vinith then others Savlon, anyone? You saw this advertisement and you bought the product, Savlon. Or as any hand wash you bought, or as any mask you bought, or as laptops you bought, cell phones, bikes, car, whatever it is, watch. Something motivated you after looking at the advertisement. You bought the product. anyone other than vinith neem vegetable wash yeah, that's a quite good example vinith yeah good others sir hand sanitizer hand sanitizer which company sir life boy life boy okay great good you saw the advertisement and that motivated you to buy the product okay others any views okay fine fine not a problem so this is what we call it as motivation you looked at the advertisement and that motivated you to buy the product so that's what we call it as motivation now coming to this needs okay needs are the essence of marketing concept marketers do not create needs but they make the consumer aware of the needs so always remember students when you go for the interview please understand this point okay marketers do not create needs marketer will never create a need in the minds of the customer but what does marketer do but can make consumers aware of the needs 
marketer will make the consumer aware of the needs but he'll never create the needs for the customers a need is something that is necessary for humans to live a healthy life needs are distinguished from the wants because a deficiency would cause a clear negative outcome such as dysfunction of the death okay dysfunction of the death death okay now please understand marketer will never create the need okay that's the key point you got to remember always remember this marketer will never create the need marketer will never tell the customer come and buy my product because the entire world is buying mine no he will never tell he will just say that my product is available in the available in the market so either you buy it or leave it doesn't matter for the marketer he knows how to market his product he knows how to sell the product in the market but always remember marketer do not create the need but he can make the consumer aware of the need so your economics is coming into picture now in the first sem economics what you studied needs wants okay the thing that we are studying it in marketing terms now okay please understand when when we say this need okay something is required for you okay uh, needs are essence of the marketing concept okay when we say need something that is necessary for the human to live a healthy life okay now say for example a sanitizer is a need now okay to be very frank with you a mask is a need now okay mask okay face mask is a need that is very much required now okay now there are two types of need students uh this question is very important for the interview point of view even for the exam point of view but very very important for the interview point of view okay in the interview a very common question if you are planning to make your uh, career in sales or research okay this is a very very important question in the interview even for the exam there are two types of needs please understand one is innate need and the second is acquired need innate need and acquired need okay innate needs psychological or biogenic needs that are considered primary need or motives okay innate needs psychology needs that are considered primary needs or motives acquired needs learned in response to our culture or environment are generally psychological and considered secondary needs okay now let's understand this in detail maybe with the help of some examples okay when we say this uh, need students okay uh, i'll be asking some questions for you so that you be very honest and answer these questions uh, that will be easy to understand this topic now okay okay in this class how many of you like a uh, red color be honest red color color red how many of you like you can unmute and speak students okay how many of you like red color color red yes sir okay fine uh how okay one only one person likes red color okay fine how many of you like uh, black color black yes sir yes sir yes sir two three how many of you dislike black color don't like black color okay how many of you uh like um, okay this this question is for vinit now how many uh, vinit do you like vodafone connection vodafone idea connection because the other day i saw your status okay i need not put myself in airplane mode because i got vodafone idea <laughs> okay that was a good message man okay vinit don't you like vodafone connection vodafone idea hello okay yeah there is some network issue i suppose okay Okay, let's be honest now. Let's understand this. How many of you like uh, coming to college on bicycle? How many of you like uh, coming to college on bicycle? Sorry, I'm asking you some general question. Then I'll take you to through the brands. Okay, just I'm trying to know from you the psychological needs. How many of you like coming from your home to the college? Yeah, we need to. Okay, no sir, bad network. Okay, fine, fine. We need to. I can understand that. Okay, uh, how many of you like uh, coming to the college uh, on your bicycle? how many of you like this none okay okay fine okay let let me get into it now okay how many of you uh, prefer using 2g connections at present how many of you don't like 2g connection at present you don't like 2g connection any of you okay why why i'm saying this okay let me be honest with you now okay innate needs when i said students uh, vaishnavi said she likes red color others didn't utter even a single word red color okay 
this is something we call it as innate need it means it's a psychological it's a biogenic need for vaishnavi whereas for others it is not whereas when i said black color i could see mega speaking vaishnavi speaking then uh, others also speaking okay they said yes sir we like black color because it's biological i can't change their mindset okay though i try all my best ways as a marketer no i can't change their mindset because it is biogenic okay means it is fixed in their mind by their birth okay that they like this color you can't change their color or you can't change their needs okay it is fixed okay you do do you do all the experiments as a marketer i do all the gimmicks in the market all the experiments in the market i can't change the mindset of the customer okay making making sense students now coming to this acquired needs we learn it from somebody and we implement it for ourselves we learn it from someone and we try to implement it in our life so learned acquired needs in response to a culture or environment are generally psychological and consider secondary needs okay learned in response to our culture or environment now say for example when you are in the college okay as a mba students okay you learn the culture of the college and then we, uh, come up with the wear and tear of your uh, trousers or as wear and tear of your dresses okay what are you you wear a blazer you wear a tie everything because you learn from the college environment you don't wear sandals you wear shoe because you learn from the college environment and you do that okay you come sharp at 8:30 to the college because of the acquired needs you learned it from somebody you are trying to implement it for yourself that is what we call it as acquired needs whereas innate needs it is within you biogenic what we say okay it is within you and i can't change it whereas acquired needs yes i can change it i can tell it to the people this is what it is this is how you are supposed to be okay and you implement it you acquire it and you try to do the same that's what we called as acquired needs okay and the first part is innate needs any questions in this please let me know acquired needs and innate needs the questions please let me know acquired needs and innate needs okay no questions is that clear shall i move to the next part hello okay there are no questions then i'll move to the next part okay uh next is uh, goals okay a goal or objective is a projected state of affairs that a person or a system plans or intend to achieve okay a personal organization desired end point in some sort of assumed development it is the sought after results of motivated behavior okay so goal now even you have goal in your life i had goal in my life even in future i have some goals the same way goal or objective in a resume you might have written some objectives the same way goal okay is a projected state of affairs that a person or a system plans to intend to achieve okay you have some goal what is the purpose of doing mba because you want to get a beautiful job or else you want to start a business or whatever it is you have a goal you have a purpose behind doing an mba the same way soon after completing your mba you want to start your own business or else you want to work into a mnc or whatever it is okay the same way marketer has his own goal towards the customers he wants to sell the products to the customers okay he wants to make sales highest number on uh, increase the sales or whatever it is So that's what we call it as goal. A personal or an organization desired end point in some sort of assumed development. It is a sought out after results of motivated behavior. Okay, so that's what we call it as goal. In short, okay, there are two different two types of goals. Friends, one is generic and second is product specific goal. One is generic and second is product specific goals. Now, when we talk about generic, okay. 
are general categories of course that consumers see as a way to fulfill their needs okay general categories are goal that the consumer see as a way to fulfill their needs okay the basic goals what we call it as generic okay in short the basic goal what we call it as generic now say for example you want to buy a bike okay that's a basic goal generic goal okay which bike we are not specific about it just a bike you want to buy okay you want to buy a cell phone you want to buy a sim card which sim card no you which bike which cell phone nothing just you want to buy a cell phone okay product specific goals are specifically branded products or services that consumers select as their goal okay now say for example when i say product specific goal then you are very specific about what brand you want that is what we called as product specific goal now if i the other day i was talking to my neighbor i asked him where do you do shopping uh, the groceries everything uh, every month on monthly basis he said i go to dmart i asked him why dmart no i am very specific about dmart i want to buy the product only in dmart that's what was his version of saying okay so that is what we called as product specific the brand what comes to his mind is product specific okay if given a chance to me the tie what i wear it should be zodiac else no ties so this is something a product specific okay there could be uh, among you people who who would be very specific about the product i want only this product okay is there anyone who is very very much product specific product specific uh, goals anyone hello sir televisions LG, lg only LG. yeah that is what we called as product specific uh, goals okay anyone other than shayans either you can speak or else uh, type it in the chat box that would be fine Okay, students, you are following. Hello. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, coming to this uh, next part is positive and negative motivation. Okay, positive motivation is a response which includes enjoyment and optimism about the tasks that are involved in. positive motivation induces people to do work in a best possible manner and to improve their performance under this better facilities and rewards are provided for their better performance such reward and facilities may be financial and non financial okay now coming to this negative i'll explain it in one shot both the things negative motivation aims at contributing the negative efforts to the work and seeks to create a sense of fear for the worker which he has to suffer for lack of good performance it is based on the concept that if a worker fails in achieving the desired result he should be punished negative motivation involves undertaking task because there will be undesirable outcomes example failing in the subject if the task are not completed okay now coming to this maybe next year by this time you will be in the corporate you will be working uh, that time you can easily relate it positive and negative motivation but as of now let me explain you what is this positive and negative motivation positive motivation now uh, i am engaging a class just a college example then i'll take you to the company as an example i am engaging a class if the student answers if i say good excellent whatever it is that motivates him with a positive way he thinks next time i need to answer this question because i get an appreciation from my faculty okay that is what we called as positive motivation negative motivation though the student answers and i ignore him i don't appreciate him then that is what we call it as negative motivation next time the student though he knows the answer he will not answer it because the reason is he got a negative motivation over there if i answer, answer it sir will not be happy the faculty is not happy that's what we call it as negative motivation now coming to the corporate taking a sales person as an example i uh, say for example i am working in a, in the retail chain okay and my monthly i am i am into personal care in personal care i am into uh, face care face hand and body okay in my segment is face hand and body i am supposed to make 1000 unit sales in a week or else in a month okay so my boss has given me a target of 1000 units in a week or uh, let's take an example of month 1000 units of uh, face cream in a month okay that's my target kisan tomato ketchup okay uh, we need this example is for what
Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, coming to this, uh, uh, yeah, I'm into face care category. I am trying to sell uh, face face creams in the market. One thousand units in a month, and my manager, ASM area sales manager, has given me target. Uh, okay, product specific. Yeah, thank you, Vitan. Yeah, uh, I'm supposed to sell these units. Uh, one thousand units. My ASM has given me targets. If I am unable to sell these units. you know if i reach this 1500 units in a month i my manager my area sales manager will approach me and says great job varun you are doing great really really appreciable and he goes back so this is something i we call it as positive motivation now this motivates you me because my manager was happy about what i did and next time what i do is it full and to i i start making more and more sales okay but my target is 1000 and if i make only 10 sales 10 sales in a month and my manager calls me to a room and blasts at me and says that you are not fit to work over here blah 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 whatever it is then that is what we call it as negative motivation okay we call it as negative motivation now is it clear students what is positive motivation and what is negative motivation any questions in this please let me know positive and negative motivation clear everyone positive and negative motivation okay fine now if there are no questions then uh, let's move to the next part uh, rational versus uh, emotional motives okay rational versus emotional motives a three marks question for the exam many times asked in the paper what is rational versus emotional motives rationality implies that the consumer's let goes based on total objective criteria totally objective criteria so that's a key point so i have put it in bold totally objective criteria such as size weight price or miles per gallon a conscious logical reason for a purchase a motive that can be defined by reasoning a logical argument okay is called as rationality now let's understand this rationality implies that the consumer select goals based on totally objective criteria okay such as now say for example buying a bike okay for me if i want to buy a bike okay then according to my personality i go for buying a bike okay now say for example if you are planning to buy a watch you buy it as per your personality okay now i i can't uh, uh, go for buying a ducati because that doesn't suit my personality and not fitting into my budget as well and doesn't suit my personality okay so what i am say checking is the size weight price everything i am checking okay a conscious logical reason there should be a logical reason to purchase a product that's what we call it as rationality always please understand rationality there should be logical reason behind buying a product only then you go for buying a product else we don't go for buying a product okay that's what we called as rationality buying rationality motives okay now a motive can be defined by reasoning a logical argument when you say logical argument there should be some reason behind buying a product simply i can't go to royal enfield showroom i want to buy a bike no i got to check the mileage i got to check the look i got to check the weight of the bike availability of the bike and does that suit my personality only then i go for buying this particular bike that's what we called as rationality rational motives then the second is emotional motive emotional motives implies the selection of the good goals according to personal or subjective criteria a feeling expressed by a consumer through association with the product okay now uh, is there anyone who is a diehard uh, fan of uh, uh, you have an attachment towards this uh, beverages anyone who, who consumes only coke nothing else if it's cold drink then it's only coke or is no cold drink is there anyone hello if it's a ketchup some mountain dew okay yeah vishal uh, there is no other uh, you don't think about any other drink other than mountain dew yeah that's what i like no sir okay great okay 
Uh, Vinit, is it uh, only tomato ketchup, Kisan tomato ketchup, or is uh, no pichpu, pichpu, nothing? Maggie? Okay, other than Vishal and Vinit, anyone? You have an emotion towards, it can be into anything, students, it can be soap, shampoo, whatever it is. If it's only this product, I accept it, or is no. You have an emotion towards particular product, anyone? That motivates you to buy it? Colgate, sir. Colgate, yeah, sir. Okay, Colgate. The toothpaste should be only. So, Dettol. Dettol, uh, yeah. Okay. Soap, uh, Vaishnavi, is it soap you're talking about? The toilet? Yes, sir. Okay. Soap, hand wash, and sanitizer, everything. Dettol. Okay. You are a royal customer of RV then. Yeah, I can finish here. Okay, great. Good. Others? Okay. Uh, Miss Eric says uh, Colgate, Vishal, Mountain Dew, Vaishnavi, Dettol. Okay. Great. Sir, Tresemme shampoo. Tresemme shampoo? Yes. Okay, great. Vega says Tresemme shampoo. The shampoo, then it's only Tresemme. That's good. Okay. Others? Medimix soap. Medimix, yeah, sure. Desi, Medimix. Okay, great. Good, good. Very good. Ayurveda. Okay. Then Sir, pizza only dominoes. Pizza only dominoes. Yes, man. I I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, pizza, it should be only Domino's. Okay. Yeah, we shall. Great. Then others? Is there anyone uh, who wants to speak about food items? Uh, uh, you can go ahead. Ice cream? Is there anyone who is very specific about ice cream? It should be only quality wash. It should be only Wadilal. Anyone? It should be only Amul. Butter, it should be only Amul. Uh, nothing else other than Amul. No, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In uh, internet connection, it should be only Airtel. Other than Airtel, nothing. I will not accept it. Uh, is there anyone who wants to say that? Okay. Okay. Amul or uh, Creambel. Okay. Great. For a specific. Okay. You have an emotion toward it. Okay. So why I ask this question is because emotional motives, that's what we call it as emotion motive. Rational and emotion. Okay. Rational, there should be a logic, whereas emotion, there is no logic. You just get attracted, you have an emotion towards the product and you buy it. So that's what we call it as emotion. Okay. Okay, students, I'll stop here uh, because I've got many things in this class. Okay. The next class, motivation process. Uh, we'll start with the motivation process in the next class. Is there anyone who is doing the presentation on this uh, motivation process? Motivation theory is needed for hierarchy. Okay, uh, those who said you want to do the presentation, keep your uh, PPT ready. Whatever you can come up with a PPT or whatever you wish to. Okay, so yeah, in the next class we'll be starting with motivation process, students. Uh, today, whatever we have discussed, please revise. Uh, please go through uh, once. Okay, and the next class we'll straight away start with just a brush up. We'll do in the next class because the number is less today. We'll do with the motivation process. Okay. Fine, students. Anything else you want to share? You want to add? You want to say? Yeah, this will wind up. Yeah. Okay. If there are no questions, then uh, let's wind it up.